Hey y'all, it's uh, it's about, I don't know, about 6 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time in the morning um, today um, in Atlanta this morning, but the birds are chirping, and I didn't hear an alarm clock go off for the birds, um, but my goal is to <clears throat> try to beat them up uh, in the morning, but I was just sitting out here uh, kind of like getting some fresh air and I had a thought come to me and basically one of the things that um, has been weighing heavily on my mind is black business and growing black business is what I do um, I had a recent conversation um, <clears throat> with a couple of people they always they always ask me, how can I get more viewers? How can I get more people looking at my blogs? How can I get more people, you know, looking at my business? And basically, it comes down to being an authority in what you do. And I'm a big, big, big uh, proponent um, of microblogging. The way I look at things is, um, in business, I don't have a lot of time. So I do a um, find people who are good at what they do and help them get more exposure. By helping them get more exposure, it also gives us more exposure. Um, so it kind of works hand in hand. Um, another thing is um, I've read this book uh, several times and I'm going to repost the link um, to the book in, in the, uh, in, you know, in the description. Always got to fill out the description with the things you talk about in your videos or, you know, in your photos and things like that. Well, the book is uh, um, The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. And then there's an E-Myth Revisited, which is like um, the remix, basically. And it talks about um, working in your business and working on your business. There's two different types of things. And <clears throat> what I and, and then also too, it kinda intertwines too with um what uh Robert Kiyosaki says and you know uh Rich Dad Poor Dad and Cash Flow Quadrant. I'll put those links in there too as books. Um but from being employed from uh Kiyosaki from being employed to self-employed, to being a business owner, to being an investor. Um, and I'm going to put it plain and simple. If you die today, and what would happen to you? If, God forbid, that doesn't happen. Let's knock on some wood. I got some wood right here. Right here, wood. <laughs> Um, if you die today, would, I know it's like, you know, um, somebody knocking on your door going, do you know if you're going to heaven if you were to die today? But no, seriously, if you die today, would your business stop? If the answer is yes, then you're working. If the answer is no, um, it will continue to, um, prosper with or without me, then you're working on your business. And basically, in a nutshell, <clears throat> if you're working in your business, you're self-employed, which means you just bought yourself a job. So to all new and young business owners, I repeat, please, 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 start with the end in mind. You want to create a big business? Start it from the beginning. Start lining yourself up with people um who can grow that business and run that business with or without you. Bring in the right resources and things like that um, so that you're working on your business because that's a business. Remember, Michael Gerber talks about that big time in E-Myth, so make sure you grab that or E-Myth Revisit it. Make sure you grab those books and then grab Richard Dad, Poor Dad, Kiyosaki, and Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki as well. I'll put both those, all four of those links in the description below, as well as the description to that thing that's on my hat, BFHS Network, Black Folk Hotspots, where we help promote black business. Um, that's huge.
So one of you know <clears throat> you want to get to from from self-employed, and I know everybody has to start there. I started there to um, from employee, which is where most people start, to self-employed, where you know you're working in your business, to business owner where you're working on your business, and ultimately, you know, if something was happening in your business, keeps 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 growing, um, whether it's with or without you. Um, like, um, that's when you become an investor or you're buying other businesses, things like that. So I'm going to let you guys go. We're hitting up on six minutes. Um, make sure you check out blackfolkhotspots.com and add your business to our business directory. Um, add your um, add your email. Um, <clears throat> you're reading this in a couple months. It'll be add your business. Right now it's reserve a spot in the business directory. Just put your email in and then use one of the share links after that to uh, share it with your business associate friends. Um, and then <clears throat> you'll either see a link at the bottom of that that says um, network with other black business owners, which is the BFHS network. And basically um, that's BFHSnetwork.com, short for blackfolkhotspots.com. And start networking. And what we do is when you post blogs, videos, um, pictures, discussions, things like that. We share with our network uh, 41,000 plus social media connections so we get you more exposure for your business so we can help you grow. Um, and that is <clears throat> pretty much run on autopilot. We also do email and things like that, some other advertising options. And you get a hold of me, you can call me. My name is Ryan, CEO of Black Book Hot Spots, 219-512-9910. i put that in the description as well. Talk to you guys soon. It's Saturday morning. Birds are chirping. I'm sure you guys can probably hear them. Maybe, maybe not. But um, that's a little tidbit with a, from a part of my mind to your mind this morning. Have a good day. Black Business Rocks. Peace.